What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Cube Draft. We're on the internet right now. We're live. We're hanging out. <clears throat> it's an early one today. We're starting at 11.30 a.m. in the Mountain dan Dandard time. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so we got some power here in the form of avalanche riders. I mean, come on. Have you gotten any DMCA, DCMA claims from Spider-Man? Um, <clears throat> you know, it's funny. Not yet on Twitch, <laughs> but I did get a copyright claim from YouTube before the video was even live. So, that was fun. Yeah, it's kind of fucking annoying. Like, dude, it's 2020. Like, we're trying to stream the game to give your game promotion. <clears throat> and I literally can't even, like, do that. Metamorph is sweet. Miscalc is sweet. Oracle is sweet. Spellseeker is... Alright. Like, I, I think the fact that they don't have a solution for it is actually... Bananas. Dude, I was reading a thread on Twitter where someone actually said their Persona 5 video got muted because there was a police siren in part of the game. A fucking police siren got their video muted. It's absolutely comical. It is horrendous. The way Twitch has handled it is horrendous. I hope there's someone from Twitch watching this and they can hear me tell them how friggin' miserable it is. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm gonna take Snapcaster Mage. I'm gonna take Muldrifter. I'm gonna take all the blue cards. All the blue cards are the best cards. Oh, I actually didn't mean to take it in that motion. I just meant to, like, highlight it. And then it got taken anyway, so. This is a late Crater Hoof. I don't understand these Crater Hoof lates. I used to work for a streaming platform. It's true. <coughs> Back in the day. It's gotta be Crater Hoof, right? Like, why are they giving me this? Oh, I wanna, t I wanna, I wanna cast a turn timber somebody else's hit Crater Hoof and then call it a day. <coughs> uh, I kinda like Thoughtseize. What can Ulamog do for us? Not much without red, right? I think it's actually Ophiomancer. Ophiomancer is great because it makes snakes for fallen shinobi. That's actually pretty good. Oh, I like a big Choops. I like Choops more than Sower here. <clears throat> I'd rather kill the Choops. Or kill your creature than... than I mean, Sower is good because it gets rid of the indestructible guys, I guess. But... <laughs> Ask what you can do for Ulamog. <clears throat> eh, Woe Strider's okay. Smuggler's Copter, I don't love because I don't think the blue-black deck is really the one that's going to... Actually, we have Ophiomancer. You know what? Maybe Big Smugs is okay. Eternal Witness came back. Oh, Miscalc for sure. We're taking Miscalc. Wow. There's some really green, good green cards, but there's also not a ton of them. Uh, Mikey B is on when he is not working. As someone with a 9-to-5 job, Michael B. is not readily available for streams that take place during the day or even late at night. <clears throat> um, I kind of like Lingering Souls here. Eh. 
today? Metamorphs. Or, uh... Revoker. <laughs> Wrong Phyrexian. Wow, Green Sun win? Yeah, alright. Take Green Sun, sure. Why not? Wow, okay. So they're just giving me this green deck, I guess. How about last pick Eternal Witness? Oh, Past in Flames, sure. Well, nine is not bad, I guess. You can go here. You can go here. There's no power for us here. That's really sad. I wish there was. Taking a mana leak. I guess that's that. Yeah, we're not an opposition deck. Knight's Whisper's fine. Rather have mana leak. Is this Legacy Cube, buddy? I think so. <clears throat> it's just hilarious that, like, I'm gonna get a content strike for fucking streaming a video game. Like, are you serious? Like, this is literally what the platform is built for. What do you stream? Do you just put on mute? I'll just put it on mute. I'll put the entire game on mute. Sound effects, music, nothing. You guys can guess what it sounds like. <clears throat> I also, I mean, like... I'm also just, like, shocked at, like, record labels. Like, not knowing that this is just good for business. <clears throat> Last night... After I played the game. Probably just Grave Titan, actually. I, I love Leovold, but we're not a Leovold deck. I just don't... Oh, God, I'm so... I'm, I'm like... it's For some reason, it keeps accidentally, like, taking the card for me. Um, Yeah, last night after I played the game, I literally played a song from the soundtrack. Because I was like, man, the soundtrack's really good. And I don't understand how the fucking, like dinosaurs that run music companies don't understand how this is advertising for them no one's literally watching my video because of your music <clears throat> i'm not like no one's gonna i'm literally clicking on this to highlight it and keep selecting it oh god this client is such garbage i mean i'm glad i wanted that but <clears throat> But, like, no one's like, oh, man, I'm going to go watch Frank's Spider-Man stream because I like one song in that soundtrack, and this is an easy way to listen to it. Dude, I can literally just open fucking Spotify and listen to the song if I want to. Like, it's unreal. Oh, I like Coercive Portal here a lot. Worn Power Stone's not bad. It does ramp us to six. I think Course of Portal is just a better card. <clears throat> oh, look. A blue-white land and a black-white land. Neither one. Actually, I kind of like Tundra here because we have Lingering Souls. I also kind of like Shark Typhoon. We can do it on three to get a Fallen Shinobi guy. But, if we're just going to play Lingering Souls, I kind of like... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Give me that Graven Tar Pit. Oh, give me that Hollowed Fountain. Yeah, now we're just straight up playing Lingering Souls. Oh, Flooded Strand? <laughs> Alright, well. <clears throat> now you're just making my life easier. Oh, the Knight's Whisper came back? Sure. Wow. it's really good. Yeah, like, if anything, like, you're literally... Ex this is free exposure to the music you have. This is what I don't understand. Like, it's... I, I, I don't mean to keep bringing this up, but it's actually extremely infuriating. <clears throat> we'll take Inkwell in case we got to tinker and, like, some signets or something. It was not... It was not Hero. Scrubland? Oh man, this is fantastic. Scrubland also makes our Flooded Strand a black source. Wow. So does Godless. Okay, so our mana base is actually perfect. Holy crap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six mana. Six lands. And like, we got both fetch lands. 
or both both shock lands and both dual lands except for the blue black ones that were actually on but still our deck's looking pretty good right now also lingering souls is another great card for smugglers counters so now we have lingering souls and ophiomancer and chupacabra is fine i mean i'd rather attack with a three three that loots than a two two ground boy <clears throat> Liliana's Triumph actually was useful at certain points. Alright, we do need eight playables at this point, so... Nope, still no power. Like you do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I almost kind of like Spell Pierce here. I think Charter Course is good, but we already have, like, Night's Whisper, and Course of Portal, and Muldrifter, and Sphinx. What's the best solution to be able to have music on in the background and not have to worry about strikes? Literally, no, there's none. That's the point. There is no solution. <clears throat> I mean, Clamp's not bad. I think I'd just rather have Spell Pierce, though. Spell Pierce is very good against a lot of things. Uh, control Magic's actually nice. I do like a Control Magic. Well, Talarian Academy is not what we're looking for. I do like Blood Chief's Thirst. <clears throat> it's like Fatal Push, but that could also kill Planeswalkers. Although it's a sorcery and it's more expensive, it gets the job done. Well, yeah, you can play regular music and never have any issues, but, like, that's just literally the luck of the draw. Like, it's not like they're, they're not doing something differently. They're just not getting caught. Goosh. <laughs> Good old goosh. I like brutality. This member could be good. We could also just literally <clears throat> play ban banishing light. One, two, three, four, five. Five white sources. We could also just take signet. I think I like banishing light here. I think it's a simple splash and. Misty Rainforest. Ooh. I kind of like Liliana here, actually. Like, Misty gets Tundra and Hollowed Fountain. Yeah, sure. It's not super exciting, but it is what it is. Uh, what does Verdon get? Verdon gets Scrubland and Godless Shrine. That's it. Murder Shrider is probably where we want to be. I don't think we're going to be Agadim's Awakening anything, right? For eight mana, we can get like Fallen Shinobi, Chupacabra, Ophiomancer. It's actually not bad. It's not terrible. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to take Murderous Rider. I do like Agadim's Awakening a lot there, but I don't think it's that good. I, don't, I mean, we're going to play it as land, so like we still need two playable. Oh, Time Warp? Yeah, we're definitely Time Warping. That's exciting. Dark Slick Shores? Why couldn't you be like a watery grave run underground sea? I mean, I'm still going to take it. It's still solid fixing at this point in the game. Wow, this pack is horrendous. I'll take Croxa, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, we'll take Sphinx. All right. Yep, these packs are all trash now. Yeah. Wow, these are really bad. All right, so I guess this is our deck. <laughs> we could just play Sphinx, I guess, but I don't love it. Wall of Omens, Gideon. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not double whiting here. Actually, we'll just take Una's Prowler. Like it gets in there for for Fallen Shinobi.
that guy. Oh, Dark Petition? Mm, that's not terrible. Pretty sure this is our 2030 spell. Here's Miss Calc and Mana Leak are all good for Snapcaster. Actually, so is Thoughtseize Blood. We have actually have a good amount of, of instants and sorceries. You can go here, you can go here. This actually seems fine. <clears throat> all of our lands are playable. It's a pretty easy build. We have very, very few uh, <laughs> cards that'll go in here. I don't like the, the the too fair conversation is bullshit. I think I think people who think like there are decks that are too fair, like I, I don't think those are those are like the mid range decks in modern. Okay, cool, you're playing Escape Shift, but I'm playing a mid range deck and I can still win because I I have answers for your non interactable <laughs> things, right? Like that's I don't think if if only the unfair decks won the the vintage cube matches, I think it'd be a completely different format. Probably gonna do one. Oral, what what up? Good good seeing you, buddy. Y'all, uh, PS5 is fine. David, thank you for the resub. 29 months since I've won a match of magic. God, that's a weird coincidence, isn't it? So what do we got here? Um one, two, three, four, five. Is this six sources? Seems totally fine. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seems fine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is ten, nine, one. How do you feel about hats? I don't love them. I mean, we probably don't need a planes, but I mean, if they path us, or you know, if we're if we're forced to search out a land, like I'd like to be able to get a planes. Because others have one, two, three, four. We only have five sources of white, which is not a ton when you have three drops. All right. <clears throat> Seems good. Mana base is looking hot. Alright, let's see how we do. Only 10 creatures. We could also just bring in Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Okay, uh, I'm gonna ship that. Yeah, this is keepable. Put Lily on the back. <coughs> Must be nice to have hair. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's not terrible. I'm just going to play this guy. I don't foresee them playing a two drop that we're super concerned with. And if they want to kill this. We should be able to bet on match outcomes with channel points. You sound like a degenerate gambler. <clears throat> See, now I'm just going to keep Mana Link up. Turn three is a little more suspect. No, they didn't do anything. This guy's just going to kill you. I'm going to just prowl your life away. Oh, they're doing a thing. Fatal push. Dang. That's fine. Get them snakes. <laughs> what was the third thing I said? Is that a Simpsons quote? You're just quoting the Simpsons. Unbelievable. This needs a second black, so. <clears throat> Vindicate on a snake man. Fallen Snowy. Dang it. Bunch of answers. Not a lot of questions.
Nah. Peace out. <laughs> so I either use Mana League on this Teferi, or I never use it again. Alright, still nothing. This is all unfortunate. Eh, <sighs> sad. Okay. You know, <sighs> seems good. Need a black source here. I will also accept that. <clears throat> that seems good. Oh, <clears throat> fascinating. Give me another land. Yes. So now I can keep up Spell Pierce for some shenanigans. Um, attack Kaya. Boo doot 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 doot. One and your face. Battle cry! <clears throat> Yep. Are they just going to activate Colonnade? Oh boy. You got it. Wow, this is a great, that was a great hit. <clears throat> I am okay with that. You got it. Okie dokie. Thank you. Swamp? <sighs> Dang it. Oh, what up, Music Manly with the resub? Man, what a nombo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is definitely the play, right? Uh, Kaya, Kaya, your face. So, I mean, if they want to trade here, it's fine. <clears throat> we have another Shinobi. And then we still get to eat the Kaya and draw a card, so... Keeping up Spell Pierce for obvious reasons. Oh, evoking a Mole Drifter. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Oh, I don't think it did. Ooh, boy. 
giving them beautiful hits. Oh! You know what? I'm okay with it. It's a second black source. We can also go snap mana leak, snap spell pure snap. Yeah, this game is probably over. If they play a creature, we can kill it. If they don't, we can counter it. You know what? It's your boy. Okay. Draw your three. Sounds good. Okay. Ba-da-doop-doop-doop. <laughs> What if Roger just hits Kaya and also it's Teferi? Thank you! Two Exodus, thank you so much for the resub. You guys are awesome. I appreciate all of you. Yeah, we can just smell like this, I think. I don't think we need Revoker. Did you beat Spider Man? No, I played for four and a half hours yesterday. And today we're going to play for some more a little bit later. I'll keep this hand. <clears throat> oh, wow. They're getting fancy. What? Really? Okie dokie. Sure. <laughs> oh boy what a weird tangle what this isn't even a tangle wire deck what it's very strange what are your initial play impressions of the ps5 uh a 100 a like i have no complaints with it whatsoever i mean it's just a complete improvement over ps5 like the or the ps4 like the, the controller is better the graphics are insane like it looks it looks and plays amazing so oh let me guess let me guess ancestral oh wow who saw it could you use it as a surfboard it's likely uh not recommended why on turn one did it like automatically tap both my things but on this turn it i get to choose Yeah, my only complaint with the PS5 right now is that it's really tall. It's like extremely tall. Yep. Sounds good. There's no point to Knight's Whisper here, like. <clears throat> so Ancestral's gone, Kai's gone. Flooded Strand is still in your hand. Tango Wire really, like, Tango Wire never does anything in decks like this, like, where you're not actively taking advantage of it. Thank you! Oh, what a big black dick! Did I miss the Spider Man? No, it's later. That's after. <sighs> yep, that's fine. I don't have anything to really. Sure. Return of the Dark Confidant to your hand? What? It's 
It's all very strange. This whole game has been very strange. Okay, Tangle Wire is gone now. That's nice. What does this do? Deals damage to target player, kill them or cards that player owns an exile. Okay, so none. Got it. <laughs> we have quite a few counter spells, so I'm just gonna get rid of the Teferi. I guess next turn we'll try to play this. I mean, one problem is that we've drawn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands to like four spells, which is, you know, a, a common theme on this channel, unfortunately. I will tap zero things. Deck the halls with the consecrated sphinx. You don't have an answer? What? You gotta have an answer. You have six cards in your hand and no answer to Consecrated Sphinx? I don't get it. Alright. <laughs> sure. It was a chupacabra all along. Okay, that guy's a little frightening. So we're basically done on board. <sighs> Do you like a big choops here? One, two, three, four, five. Warp all, warp the times. It's not bad, not bad. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Play another blue. Fatal push, and I'll extract the other one. Yep, that's that's gonna be, that's gonna be game. Yep, cool. <clears throat> well, they get to exile one of the souls. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but there's apparently a hostage situation going on at Ubisoft Montreal. That's pretty wild. Hope everybody's okay. Hmm. 
Yep, let's mulligan again. Sure. Well, they both, we both mulligan to six, so that's good. For fair, you know, for the sake of fairness. Oh, you mean oh you get you meant to get to get to exile the the actual lingering souls? Got it. Okay, that's pretty good. How do I play against the Esper Mirror match here? That's pretty wild. I think we're getting... We want double black for this guy and this. Let's get Goblet Shrine. This seems like it hurts their deck way more. They've had Thalia, Kaya, Kaya and Teferi. So it's like, why are you playing Thalia here? It's super weird. <laughs> Does not seem great for your deck. Yep. Man, it says to recall every single game. Seems good. Okay, we're actually doing fine here. Play this guy. So we need three black? Yeah, okay, so we can go black. White. Seems good. Bouncing? You're bouncing a token. Okie dokie. Okay, we like that. We like that. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, need another blue, so we'll just use the same one.
Yeah, Lingering Souls is no joke. Pretty good. I'm gonna pierce this. Pierce is just getting worse and worse, and like, if they want to pay two more to get their guy back, that's fine. They can't put the sword into play this turn. Thoughtsies and Night's Whisper. Okay. So we get to Phyrexian Metamorph, copy the sword, and then start bashing? That seems good. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, amazing. Land. Smuggler's Copter. Fallen Shinobi. Wow. Mesmeric Fiend, but I have one card. How wild. Yeah, I actually think Liliana's ult here might be okay. Comically enough. Why do I keep evoking this guy and not just casting it? I don't understand. You know Muldruff is a creature, right? I guess because they don't... It's, I mean, that's good to know because it means they don't have anything and they want to keep as much mana as they can up in order to uh, respond. Okie dokie. I mean, we're just going to chump this because we can always, like, ultimate Liliana. Wow, they didn't even care about that. Block. I don't see any reason to block with Smuggler's Copter and a Spirit Token. Anguished Unmaking. Oh, you're just going to put the sword on that guy. Huh. Also, Fallen Shinobi is a ninja as well, or a zombie as well. Yeah, we can double block, or block it. It doesn't do anything, though. Wow, okay, so we just win this game. That's surprising. I did not see us winning this game. Sterile non-zombies. We get to keep these three and Smuggler's Copter. Uh, we get to discard this to get this. And then we get to also get our Phyrexian Metamorph back. Yeah, that would have been a good turn if they didn't have anything, so...
Okay, sure. Let's get a hollowed fountain here. I thought this was a Spooderman stream. <laughs> yeah, joke's on you. <laughs> I am dead inside. Where's the spell pierce when you need it? Hollowed fountain. All right. This is my. This is my last resort. Piece of shit in the multiverse. <sighs> you have heroes now fallen bribery. Okay, well, I'll take the bribery. Sounds good. Discarded two Swamperinos. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, so your hand is Creeping Tarpet and another Swamp. Sounds good. I have two cards in hand. Hmm. That's something. Creeping tar pit is gone. You discard creeping tar pit a little, you played swamp. Okay. I have one card. I can deal seven next turn. We can block with Snapcaster.
Your art was the prettiest of all the art. Oh, man. <sighs> I mean, unfortunately, we couldn't hit... I mean, like, the, the funny thing is we hit, like, Batter Skull and Swords, so even if we hit both of those off Fallen Shinobi, they could still take one of them, so... Middle-aged fat guy. See you later, buddy. Just gonna run this guy out here. Really? You're not attacking with Tassiger, huh? I feel like stealing our smuggler's copter has been very, very good for them. I mean, Yawgmoth just came into play last turn, so it's it's a good reason for them not attacking. Uh, we cannot copy deck with Phyrexian Metamorph. That is not how that card works. Oh, I'm not surprised anymore. <laughs> Solid. I'll bring Revoker in. I'm gonna name Dakarino. Dakari. Luna's Prowler seems pretty bad when they have Bitter Blossom. I don't love this hand, but I don't hate it. Big fan. And I'm like, it's all making sense now. I actually enjoy Snow Patrol in a weird way. It's gonna be a daiquiri? Oh. No, I'll get out of here. Come on, land. One time land. land, 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 land. It was not a land. Ooh, let's get rid of that thing. This hand is terrible. Didn't even attack. Oh, that's a good one. Alright, so we want them to play something so we can go Snapcaster into Shinobi and to bounce our gentleman.
This taps them out, which is what we want, because we're going to Shinobi. What land do they play? Swamp? Okay, so we know they have these three. God, people to give our Snapcaster back is so good. Oh, I'm walking into a ninja, aren't I? Well... Who can say? Oh, Narset and a Coalition Relic. Yes. Yes to all of that. Um, hmm. Banishing Light's pretty good on Bitter Blossom. Yeah, Lotus Petal would have been nice. Actually, Lotus Petal would have been fine because it lets us go Snapcaster Thoughtseize to take Sower. As it sits right now, they're probably going to Sower steal this guy. We're going to have to Blood Chief's Thirst. So we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to be Blood Chief's Thirst. We're going to have 1, 2, 3. We're only going to have like 3 mana. So we're probably going to take Banishing Light. And, yep, that is predicted. And Island is gone. Okay, so we're going to put a charge counter on this. I'm not going to crack this yet because we'll see what we get. An Island, so we're just going to get a black source here. We can just get a scrub land. One. Two, three, four. Kind of like Thoughtseize here, actually. Uh, I guess we want to get rid of Bitter Blossom, right? whiff I kind of like that a lot actually yeah that's really good one two three four five six eight seven mana eight mana if we activate and nine uh <sighs> Well, that's QQ City, unfortunately. Did it play Swamp? Okay, so we don't we don't have any information really. Hunnins in the stream. Nothing here. That's really, really great. Uh, they have two cards. We could snap Thoughtseize. Could also Time Warp. I think we're just going to pass here. Yep, that's fine.
You got it. Mine's desire? Bribery. <laughs> wow. Bribery playing around spell pierce. That's kind of hilarious. Playing around double spell pierce. I mean, I guess it makes. I mean, it makes sense. Like, there's no, there's no sense in not playing around this. They're gonna grave titan, and we're just gonna control magic it. Spellcaster. What's a spellcaster? Oh, they took Consecrated Sphinx. So wait, one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, we can... Oh, we're going to steal Consecrated Sphinx. And then we're going to Time Warp in the same turn. Oh, I like that. Yep, you can get your cards. Or maybe we just pass. One, two, three, four, which means I could play something for five. I think we just want a spellcaster. I mean, ugh. The problem with with uh, time warping here is that they don't they don't actually draw any cards, so neither do we. I do like this though, because a lot of the answers might be three mana, right? So, Dar okay, okay, dark slick. Oh, yeah, give me them cards. Blah. Oh, we could target the opponent with Time Warp. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Dak Faden. Are you going to take back your thing? That's rude. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Big oof. Loot City. I don't hate this hand. Oh, it's another, it's another I don't hate this hand. Today on I don't hate this hand. I will keep. Today on, we're both keeping. Hot button, check it and see. I got Planeswalkers that all cost three. I mean, they have Narset, Liliana, uh, Dak, Faden, and Duretti, so they're definitely high on the three mana Planeswalker hierarchy. What does that mean? Well, now we have Spell Pierce into Spell Pierce, which is kind of cool. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh boy. Well, that's kind of funny. Okay, you got it. Well, that's obnoxious. Wow. Now I feel stupid. Mm. 
Yep, that's the dude. a great draw. They did need the red for this, which is nice. That's actually pretty okay. Sure. Hot blooded, check it and see. Hmm. So we have black, 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 blue, blue, white. So this is obviously going to be like hollowed fountain here. Or tundra. I mean, these three one ones don't really do anything for us. Or against us, I should say. Uh, let's get hollowed fountain. So many defenders. Oh, course of portal seems banging. What's going on in here? Hello. <laughs> She's creeping. You coming to sit over here? Are you having a little lunch? Mm, yeah. Okay. What are you doing right now? I'm watching what you're doing. You having a big look? Uh, sure. You know what? They can have whatever they want. What do you think they're going to take? Blood. Oh, spell pierce. <laughs> now they're going to bribery us. Yep. Ah. <sighs> That's a thing, all right. I mean, we have Blood Chief's Thirst, so if they want to take Sphinx and draw two, I guess that's fine. Oh, they can also kill our portal. I didn't even realize that. Maybe they'll forget. Your deck looks good. Well, Based oh. on the cards I've seen. Oh, I think they did it wrong. They targeted this guy. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I have also done this before. Because it says you may sack an artifact if you do destroy target artifact or creature. So when you click oh. it, the first thing you click is the guy you're going to sacrifice. And, uh... Fudge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I have also done this before. Wow. Well, I'm going to go eat my spaghetti. Okay, babe. Congratulations on your opponent <laughs> messing up. That's wild. Maybe you're a good luck charm. Good thing I came with this. Exact I know moment. you really, you really helped me out here. Hey, little dog. Um, the problem is now we want to kill both of these things because other they're not going to do that twice. One, two, three, four. You know what? I'm gonna say carnage. Let's get rid of everything. There's no way they do carnage though, right? Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. So close. Yep, that's pretty good for them. Should have done this on the stack, I guess. One, two, three, one, two. <sighs> Will you run my cuties draft in the next few days? For sure, dude. For sure. My son was born on Sunday. Draft a deck about babies and cute little things. Doing it. All right. One, two, three, four, five. I think we just got a murderous rider, this thing. Hot ready, check it and see. And they just drew four cards. It's pretty rough. 
One, two, three, and we got one, two, three, four. Oh my god, are you serious? Well, sometimes you're just not meant to win matches, I guess. That's pretty bad. This is all very fascinating. Interesting. Really? Time Warp? They don't know about Murderous Rider? Fascinating. Now we're going to choose homage every time. Oh, what up, big moles? I mean, it sucks that Snapcaster and Blood Chief's Thirst is seven. Or six, rather, right? So, we're like, we're going to play six. I think we just discard the island here. I mean, I actually kind of want a Muldrifter here. I don't foresee us, like... Oh, you're right. It's not a... Oh, yeah, you're right. It's not a creature. That's a good point. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. Yep, let us both discard a card. I will discard an island again. I don't know if they have anything. Crypto Command, let me choose my modes. Oh, it just died. All right, well. I feel like on board we're actually doing pretty well. That's fine. I'll mic. Oh, we're now we got Chorus of Portal. Dang. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god, I didn't change the name. I didn't change magic. Oh god. I didn't update my. Oh, God. Yep, take one. Sure. Um, yeah, I, I'm still not going to blow this thing up. They voted for Carnage? So, we're only going to be able to draw one card during their turn, which is fine. Because it's still drawing a card, and we are actually trying to bounce this with Shinobi. So we're not dead yet. What did they get? What did they hit with that? that deck? Sure. They don't have a red source. Yet. That was perfect. Wow. So now they don't even get the Murderous Rider. Oh, that was really good. I will draw a card. <laughs> Seems good. <laughs> uh... 
All right. Now they're gonna get Coalition Relic Watch, so they can cast their deck and steal our course of portal. Oh boy. It's all coming together. What are they with Narset deck? It's right here. Well, they have two mana. So that's good. We can also activate Creeping Tar Pit, which feels correct, and then Fallen Shinobi. So we have a lot of things we can do here. Kind of want to get rid of Narset for sure. So, this is going to go at your Narset. This is going to go at your deck. And you're just probably going to stay home. I don't think Dakota Fanning is the greatest thief. <laughs> Unless she stole our hearts. Oh good, they have something. In their two cards, they have a card that costs two. Good to know. Yeah. Let's see what your last card is, huh? Heartless Act. Wow, you had two removal spells. Okie dokie. Alright. Man, the swings in this game, dude. <laughs> the combo. Well, they have no cards in hand, which is nice. Oh, wow. This is fascinating. Hmm. So now we can actually attack with Creeping Tar Pit and then Shinobi in. That's pretty good. Oh, to see gray. Okie dokie. Yep, you hit that Liliana. You got it. 
I'll say homage. They vote for Carnage for the lols. Oh! Oh, I see. Oh. You don't say. Um. Hmm. Fascinating. They have seven power on board right now, plus Tarpit, which is ten. So the problem is if we don't hit anything off of the Fallen Shin, we would die. Yeah, I kind of like stealing Yawgmoth here. has to be correct, right? I mean, do you snack, sack someone to kill my Snapcaster? I mean, like, if you want to sack either Kite Sail or Tassiger, it's totally fine with me. Charge counter on it. it. Sounds good. I do wish I had a way to get rid of Tassiger. So we're going to have multiple blocks for Tassiger. So we have, we're have we going to have the zombie. We're also going to have Yawgmoth himself if we just want to throw it away. Um, another thing we could do is actually sack this and this to kill this to draw two. So we go to five. And then we can time warp. We're also losing four cards in our deck at that point, which puts us to 11. But we're definitely doing this. Got to be Grave Titan here. Fuck, what a, what a champion. Okay, this is actually a very good draw. One, two, three. Activate. One, two, three, four. We have two mana left over. Attack your face, attack your deck.
Um, we'll have Phyrexian for that, I guess. Does it matter what we do? Not really, right? We can't sacrifice anything. Oh, we can take this and just sacrifice it, right? That's pretty good. Um, we're going to play this guy naming Creeping Tar Pit. Oh, non-land. Damn it. <laughs> relic, we'll say. Coalition Relic. We also have to win soon. Let's get Grave Titan back to try to close out the game. And we did play their, their mountain, right? So... Um... You know what? They can have Tasker back, I think. Yeah, we don't have enough life to really... They also don't have red sources anymore, so... Yeah, no, you can have the cards at this point. We're also trying to play fast because we have three minutes that are eight minutes. So, like, we've been playing a little slower. Uh, this this game has been kind of complicated, so. I mean, they're kind of got. A, they're kind of like we have like three turns with coalition portal and two turns against creeping tar pits. So, but that's pretty frustrating. I'm starting to think we should have killed Tassiger. I don't know. What do we have left in our deck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It might be like four lands, actually. Anything at the end of the turn? No. Oh, Banishing Light seems phenomenal! I can bounce that back. Hoping you had just lands. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a thing. So we're going to replay Tar Pit for funsies. Oh, we just won the match. All right. Cool. I didn't do the math or anything, but I figured that'd be okay. All right, let's finish this league. Can we sweep? He left us. He left us. But that's not what I'm going to do. Oh man, Jurassic Park is OP. I will play first. Man, Manalik. Manalik is like the glue that holds hands together to give you time to draw your lands that you need. Preferably Scrubland, Godless Shrine. Not, not that one though. I am going to leave you as always. Where are you going? How dare you just leave? How dare you? 
music manly we're having a good time and you're just gonna you're just gonna you're just gonna ignore all that music manly good luck at the doctors buddy i hope you're okay i believe in your well-being That she will. I'll discard a card. How's that sound? Pretty good. Come on, lands. Give me lands. You didn't. Okay. Music manly, you have a child, and you never told me. This friendship is a farce. It's unbelievable. I don't know anything about you. Let's see if they discard Lingering Souls, too. I see. Huh. That's unfortunate. Oh, boy. Boy, let me tell you how good a land, uh, non, a non, non blue land would be here. She <laughs> showed up at my door last night. Well, yep, we're just going to concede. I'm not going to deal with Double Ash and Reiner. Cool. Super Mick Coolerson. And this is how it ends. We play two well fought grindy matches, and then we play this match where it's like. You know what? I'll keep it. I believe in our ability to draw a blue source. Music Manly, I'll see you later, buddy. Don't thoughts seize me, bro. I literally asked. I said. I said. Don't thoughts me. I don't thoughts. I said. I asked you nicely. I, fucking so rude, man. Take my Ophiomancer. I got two six drops. They're going to take Misdirection. It's just easily the best card. If they're trying to exhume, taking any of these is worse for them. And this is better for them, so. This is where they go and Tomb Reanimate. I'm ready for it. My body's ready. Oh boy. Let's draft a broken deck next. I want to draft a deck that does stuff like this. Draft a deck like that. Don't tell me what to do. Just had enough mana to cast Ugin as bait before casting Crater Hoof in the same turn to win the game. Ugin is solid bait, dude. Okay, well, that's actually fine, because if they want to exhume now, uh, they just want to reanimate my guy. I, I understand. Land? No. I'm going to scoop. Well, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, we have mana troubles literally both of these games. First game, we can only draw blue sources. Second game, we can only draw black sources, so... You make an X out of you and me. I mean, if they kill our... Yeah, that's fine. I mean, they're at 12 life. How do they win this game? You got me. One Ophiomancer is going to hold down this fort, buddy. Okay, another four drop. Sounds good. I guess Team J brought a couple hours free. Like you do. Oh man, this this is this aggression will not stand, man. Gimme my gravy boy. You 
Got it. Okay. Make another Zombone. Boy, man, this Mana Leak would have been... Would have been good, huh? Okay, double blue card. Sounds good. Nothing but fun and fairness in the last game of our of our draft. I'll still take 2-1. It's a free draft. It's a free roll. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Definitely check out manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service for Magic Online. Everyone loves them. And uh, you get 15% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. Be sure to check them out. It's a great deal. It's a great way to support the channel. Please consider subscribing or following. If you guys do enjoy the content on YouTube, on Twitch, and I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.